Anna Williams says when she received a call from police telling her to come home, she knew something was wrong. My house was fully engulfed. Fire investigators say a vacant home next to hers exploded after 2 o'clock Tuesday afternoon along Ramore Road in Woodlawn. It's the second home in two days in Baltimore County to explode. Houses on either side suffered significant damage, one of which was fully engulfed in fire. The house on the other side had significant structural damage to it. Lorraine Jones says she saw what happened. I had just put the food in the oven and I stood up and I peeked out the back and boom, then the house was gone just that fast. An explosion so powerful, car windows were shattered. Six homes damaged. I thought I had a heart attack. My, I was, it was hurting. My, my heart, my chest was hurting. I, I, it just scared me so badly. Neighbor Marjorie Jones says the house has been vacant for about a year. My neighbor that lived in there was in a nursing home now. Her nieces came up and just emptied the house out cleaned it out. Investigators say there is gas service on the street, but it's unclear at this stage in the investigation if the vacant home was running on gas. You go to work, you come home, you expect your house and your husband, your family to be where they're supposed to be. This is God's world. So Anything can happen. For Janet Williams, she says she's grateful she wasn't hurt. I am blessed to be alive and I thank God that no one lived next door in the home that exploded. Back out here live at the scene, uh, you know, what once used to be a house is no longer. Now, uh, the cleanup, of course, will take some time. Uh, this road, it's unclear how long it will be shut down, but we do know that uh, the Red Cross is assisting those families who, again, their homes are just damaged. And, uh, you know, we managed to speak with so many neighbors tonight and, you know, their homes suffered damage, whether it's ceiling damage, uh, windows were busted out, just all kinds of damage. Even their car windows were busted out because of this explosion tonight. But again, thankfully, no one was hurt. Reporting live tonight, Karen Campbell, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Karen, thank you.